Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Vegeta. So what is going on everybody, how is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Vegeta, and I was lucky enough to get this at New York Comic Con when I went yesterday. This is the early release, and he will be released a little later on in the month, but I thought I wasn't going to be able to get him because it looked like they sold out, and then I saw an employee from Bluefin bringing up two case packs that said Super Saiyan Vegeta, and that was such a big sigh of relief. I was able to get it, and so very happy that I am, and I'm really digging this figure a lot. I'm loving what Tamashii Nations did with this Vegeta. So without further ado, let's get into the review and start off with the packaging for the Prince of All Few Saiyans. So Vegeta does come in the newer updated style box for the DBZ line. We do get the window there, says SH Vigyard, Super Saiyan Vegeta, some images of Vegeta on the right, Toy Animation Morning, blah 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 blah, Dragon Ball Z, Funimation, Tamashii Nations, and Bandai. And then there's the bottom of the box there, looking pretty cool. And then there's the top of the box there, really not much going on. And then there's the one side of the box. And then there's the other side with some more images of Vegeta. And then the back of the packaging shows a bunch of different poses. You can get the figure into along with some of his accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open to take a closer look at Vegeta. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look at Chicken Fajita, I mean Vegeta. And Tamashii Nations did an excellent job with this figure. I think this is my favorite Vegeta figure that I own right now. I mean, I love the updated hair sculpt. That looks amazing. Same with the face sculpts. It looks like they took this Vegeta directly out of the anime during the Cell Saga. Love the way the uh, hair is, though. I like the sculpted lines in it here and there. And then up on the top, beautiful paintwork all throughout it. We do get very subtle orange paint shading right in the middle. And then on the sideburns, a little bit there. And then I think a bit at the top here and here. But it's very subtle. It's not as heavy as the trunks. And it just looks so much better on the Vegeta compared to Trunks' hair. There's the back of it there, and it's very pointy, so be careful of it. Not to poke yourself with Vegeta's sharp hair. But uh, great work on the face sculpt as well. Nice clean paint where the uh, yellow meets the skin tone. Same with the eyebrows and the eyes. Nice clean paint and sculpt work. We do get the lines in between the eyes and under the eyes. And then they did put a little bit of a darker paint in the ears. But uh, great job just on the head sculpt there. Then we get his neck. Nice sculpt and uh, very clean paintwork where the blue meets the skin tone all around, as you can see there. And then we do get his Saiyan armor, and I believe the top part is new. Uh, it's not the same as Trunks, but the lower part, the uh, midsection, is the same as Trunks, I believe. The shoulders are new. The biceps, I think, are the same as Trunks, but the lower arm is different. It's a little more wider compared to Trunks'. Same with the... Uh, with the um, shoulders, as you can see, Vegeta's are much bigger. Same with the lower arms, but the biceps look the same size. And then the upper part of the Saiyan armor, as you can see, Vegeta's looks a little bit different. But uh, one thing I do wish Tamashii Nations added in was the darker paint in between the sculpted lines on the mustard yellow part. They did that with the original Super Saiyan Vegeta. I don't know why they didn't do it with this one, because it, it just makes the Saiyan armor look that much better. Even though it looks great, just that darker paint would have looked so much better. Same with a little bit of paint shading on the white part on the Saiyan armor. But a very cool looking figure. There's the back right there. We do get these straps at the top. So now for his legs. Uh, the thighs are new pieces, as you can see. It's not the same as trunks. Looks similar, but it's not. I think the lower legs and the boots are the same. But the feet are different, as you can see there. See how the feet are different? I mean, they did a great job with it, though. We do get some paint shading around the crotch area and then up at the upper thigh. Just a little bit, though. We only get paint shading there and then in the hair. But a uh, nice sculpt work on the boots, same with the shoes. And it would have looked better if they added that darker paint in the sculpted lines on the shoes as well. There's the bottom of them. 
I mean, overall, I think Tamashi Nations did an excellent job with this Vegeta, and I am extremely satisfied with it. The new updated hair and faces look great. But anyway, let's continue on. And for anybody who's curious, wanting to know if you can interchange any of the other Vegeta heads with the new one, the ball peg on the new Vegeta is bigger than the other Vegeta figures. I mean, you could probably take the Super Saiyan Blue or the regular Super Saiyan or maybe even the black hair Vegeta and throw it on this one, but you're going to have to do it with force because, like I said, the ball peg is a little bit bigger and you will loosen up the hole for the other Vegeta heads. And if you're wondering if you could put this one on any other ones, you can, but it just... It really doesn't work, though. As you see, it's way too loose. But anyway, continuing on. Moving on to the accessories, we get a bunch of awesome stuff included with Vegeta, and we finally get some crossed arms, and it's about damn time, because this is such an iconic pose that Vegeta is in all the time, so very happy Tamashii Nation's finally included some crossed arms with a new Vegeta figure. But the paint and sculpt look great on it. I think they did a nice job with it. And the way you interchange it is you pop Vegeta's arms off right here at the upper bicep where it connects into the shoulders. Just pop them out and then you pop this one on as simple as that. It's as easy as interchanging the crossed arms for the same armor trunks. So we do get that. And then we also get nine interchangeable hands. So we do get a pair of fists, of course. And let's focus the camera here so we can get a better look at them. But a uh, very nice sculpt work on these. I think they're the same ones that came with the same armor trunks. And they aren't painted, that's the color of the plastic, but nice sculpt work on the fists here. So we do get a pair of fists, and then we also get a pair of these new hands, which are like martial arts stance hands. And they're very similar to the ones Goku comes with, but I like what they did with the Vegeta ones. They made the, the middle finger a little bit lower, not even with the pointer finger. So I like that they made them a little bit different for Vegeta. So very cool that we got those. And then, of course, we get a pair of open palm blast hands. Nice sculpt work on the inside of the hand there. And there's the back of them. So we get those. And then we do get a pair of final flash hands, which are some hands that should always be included with Vegeta. Or you can call them Bulma boob grabbing hands. So we get a pair of those. And then the last hand that we get, which is a right hand, kind of looks like it's a, it's a thumbs up hand. But it's actually Vegeta pointing to himself, like when he was fighting Cell during the Cell Saga. He pointed to himself like that, and I forgot what he said to Cell. Cell. Maybe he said he was uh, Super Vegeta or something like that. But I really love that they included this right interchangeable hand. Very uh, cool idea by Tamashi Nation. So those are all the interchangeable hands. And then we also get four interchangeable faces. But the one thing I'm not happy about is we didn't get a powered down interchangeable head. So that's a little bit disappointing. But at least we do get four interchangeable faces. We do get this one here, which is the normal basic looking face sculpt that we already took a look at before. And they really did some great paint and sculpt work on it. Like I said, it does look like they took Vegeta right out of the anime. So we do get that one there, and then we also get this one here, which is the, like, smirking, smiling face sculpt. I think this is my favorite that's included with this Vegeta figure. Very nice paintwork around the hair where it meets the skin tone nice and clean. Uh, great sculpt and paintwork with the mouth. That tiny little paint detail looks great. Same with the eyes, eyebrows, all the lines and everything. So very nice job with that interchangeable face. And then we also get two yelling, screaming face sculpts, which are the exact same, just the one right here, he's looking off to the left, why this one here, he's looking straight ahead. But a uh, very nice clean paintwork where the, uh, the color of the hair meets the skin tone. We do get a vein on the left side of his forehead right there too. Great paintwork around the mouth and the teeth, same with the eyes and eyebrows and everything. Great job on all these interchangeable faces, but anyway, that is all the accessories included with Vegeta. Well, let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. Now, for the height of the Prince of All Saiyans, to the top of his head, he stands about 5 inches tall, then to the top of his hair, he's a little bit over 6 inches tall. And then here he is compared to... The SH Figure Arts Original Super Saiyan Vegeta, the SH Figure Arts Premium Color Super Saiyan Vegeta, and the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And then here he is compared to... The SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Trunks and the SH Figure Arts Perfect Cell. And then here he is compared to... A bunch of the other SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z figures. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review! So now for the articulation, and if you have these Saiyan Armor Trunks, you get the same exact movement with this Vegeta here. So we do get two points at the neck, one at the upper neck and one at the lower neck, so the upper neck joint 
Vegeta can pretty much look all the way up, so that is really good. And then looking down, he pretty much just looks straight ahead. And then we do get some alright pivot up there, and it also swivels. The lower neck joint, just a little bit of forward and back movement. A little bit of pivot as well, and it slightly swivels. So nice movement at both those neck joints. Then we get a point of articulation under the chest here. And Vegeta can crunch forward about that much. And I like that they hid the joint this time. Last time you were able to see a big gap, like with the Trunks figure. So nice job by Tamashii Nations on that. And then goes to the back about that much. We do get pretty good pivot up there, but my joint is very tight. And then it also swivels. Now for the waist here. Some alright forward and back movement, slight pivot, and then also swivels as well. Really not, not much pivot at all with the waist. Now for the shoulders, we get a cool like butterfly joint, so you can move the arms back and forth. And it can go up and down as well. Really don't get like a circular motion in the armpit, only a tiny bit though. And the shoulders go out to the sides about 90 degrees, so that's good. They do go up and down. We do get the bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that bend in pretty much all the way, so that's good. And then the wrists swivel and they're on hinges. Now for the legs here, this is something that's a little weird. His right leg gets m more movement compared to the left one. Like kicking forward, I can only get him to go up that much with the left leg, but with the right leg, he can go up about 90 degrees. And then going out to the sides, as you can see, this leg goes out a little bit more than that one, but they really don't go far out at all, so that's a bit disappointing. That's like 45 degrees right there. But another good thing is they fix this joint, so when you move it out, it doesn't slowly creep back in, so I'm glad that they fixed that. We do get the upper thigh swivel there. We get double jointed knees that bend back all the way, so that is awesome. Now for the ankles, this is a point of articulation I'm not too fond of. You can hinge them down a little bit so you get more movement out of the ankle here. They do swivel. They hinge up a real good amount and then they hinge down a good amount as well. But I feel like the pivot isn't the best and I feel like we got more pivot out of the previous Vegeta figures compared with this new updated articulation. Then we also get to articulation. I mean, overall, I think we get some great movement with this Vegeta, and I'm very happy with it. But I'm not I'm not a big fan of the new ankle articulation. But, I mean, you're going to get great poses with this Vegeta, and I'm overall satisfied with it. But, overall, I do highly recommend this figure, especially if you're a big Dragon Ball Z fan, you love the SH Figure Arts line, or if Vegeta is your favorite character, this piece is a definite must have for your collection. Tamashii Nations killed it with this one. They did a fantastic job with this Vegeta. And this figure is so damn cool. The other side of the pillow doesn't have shit on it. So I do highly recommend it 100%. The only issues or complaints I have with this figure, one of them is I'm not a big fan of the new updated angle articulation, mostly just with the pivot. I just don't like the way it moves. I feel like we don't get that much movement out of it. Another main one is we once again do not get a powered down black hair head sculpt for Vegeta. That is very disappointing and probably my main issue with this figure. And my last minor complaint is I wish there was paint shading on the white parts on Vegeta's armor and on his gloves and boots. And I do wish they put a darker shade of paint in between the sculpted lines on the mustard yellow part on his armor. But other than that, Tamashi Nations killed it with this figure. The articulation works beautifully. I'm getting such great poses out of the figure and having so much fun posing them around. We also do get some great accessories, a bunch of interchangeable hands and faces, and of course, finally, the crossed arms. Very happy about that. And then finally, the detail. Tamashii Nations did such an awesome job with the paint and sculpt, and I love the new updated faces and hair sculpt. They did an amazing job with it, and I love the very subtle paint shading in the hair as well. And I'm so happy with the way this figure turned out, and I love having this updated Vegeta now in my collection. And if you would like to get this Super Saiyan Vegeta for your collection, he does retail for about 50 through 55 bucks, depending on where you purchase it. Like I said before, I got the early release from New York Comic Con, so he will be releasing in a few weeks, and you can pre-order him at agelessgeeks.com, or you can pre-order him on the Ageless Geeks Facebook group. But anyway, that is my review of the SH Figure Super Saiyan Vegeta. 
Vegeta. Hope you enjoyed my review. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and favorite the video too. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Today, we're going to be taking a low blah, 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 blah. So what is going on, everybody? How is everyone doing today? So what is going on, everybody? How is everyone doing today? Ouch. And I'm extremely happy I was able to. Plus, I'm really pulled about what you give me. But the closer and closer I was getting to line, I, in line, to line, what the heck. And then there's the bottom, blah, 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 Box for the DBZ line. We do get the window there. It says SH Figure Brother Arts. Toy Animation Morning. Blah, 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 blah. Dragon Ball Z. Funimation. Toy Animation. Oh, blah, 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 damn it. And for anybody who's curious, if you can interchange <laughs> the SH Figure Arts. Blue bit baba boo papa. The SH Figuarts original Super Saiyan trunks. The SH Figuarts premium color Super Saiyan. Did I go just call them trunks? What the hell?